Did I have fungus on my skin this whole time? Jamima, your fear of looking stupid is holding you back. It said vegan, so I said, oh, vegan, it's healthy. <laughs> 7 p.m. Friday, 95 degrees. I ain't got no kids, and no kids ain't got me. <laughs> hey, Gems, it's Grandma's Jamima, and we are back at it again with another mother freaking vlog, baby. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I don't know what this vlog finna, finna hold. I don't know what this vlog finna do. But I'm officially starting Atlanta Carnival. Hold on. I'm at a bootleg juve that starts at 10 p.m. What? What juve starts at night? And it said bring your own paint and pot on the fire. The ghetto. But we outside. I don't think I've spoken to you today or yesterday. Hey, Gems. Um, oh my God, and I never gave y'all an update on, um, uh, God, what a weekend this is shaping out to be. I never gave y'all an update on that, that fake me out juve I went to. I, it was, I don't know what that was. Um, I left and went home early. <laughs> Cause I'm like, babes, like, I could be sleeping right now. So that's exactly what I did. I left to go home. I'm actually, oh, I gotta go, but I'm actually on my way to go have brunch with Nessa. Um, yeah, we are going to Del Bar at Inman Park. And the last time I went, the food was so good. I can't wait to go back. Um, I'm starving, haven't had anything to eat. So I'm gonna eat good, okay? But yeah, let me go. Uh, Uber's gonna be here any minute. Oh, she's doing a drop off. Mer Okay, well, let me go downstairs. I'll see y'all what I see y'all.
Every time, gonna do it for me every time. Oh, I need to find this song. Oh, somebody said it's 7 p.m. Friday, 95 degrees. I ain't got no kids, and no kids ain't got me. <laughs> TikTok, I'm so over this app, bro. I'm screaming. No, because why does Glow really eat like this? And the beat is everything. Like, are you are you actually kidding me? Is that it? Real Hogger. I'm cheating because I don't have time. Not in the mood.
Okay, so this is dinner. Um, I'm really trying to limit how much I eat out. Like I prefer for my eating out to be vibes like earlier today. Brunch, kiki in, chopping it up. Cute drinky drinks with a friend. Like DoorDash, no. Fast food, no. Like if I'm gonna ingest sodium, I might as well do it at home. So I picked up this grilled fajita chicken thingy from Target. <laughs> Actually, all this is from Target. Whenever I need to do like a fake me out grocery haul, just something quick. Target delivery got me every time. Every time. So I'm about to have this. Um, I prefer fresh veggies or frozen, but like I said, when you're in a pinch, you do you do what you can. Okay, beggars are not choosers. Anyways, yeah. The chicken's actually like kind of good. I'm about to keep that in stock regularly. And I normally have brown rice, but I still have white rice left from when Ruka was here. I'm trying to empty out the older things in my freezer, so it's white rice today. Mm hmm. Mmm, delicioso. Where's my water? Mm. Hey guys. <laughs> so, really random. Well, actually not random right because I'm very much so in the shower. And I'm about to talk about something shower related. But you guys know I've been loving my Bioma body wash. Hold on, let me get situated. <laughs> Hold on. Y'all know I've been ranting and raving about how much I love this to y'all, right? Love her life. Um, will forever love her life, clearly. But do you guys remember when I first, first did like, was it Amazon? I feel like I did some kind of haul or something and I was talking about how I picked up this tea tree body wash as tea tree and eucalyptus essential oils. Now I haven't spoken about this since I purchased this. Um, mainly because like, I mean, it's a tea tree body wash, like, like it's good, but like, there's no razzle-dazzle, you know, like, uh. but I, I will say though, that I used to have like these little patches on my skin of hypopigmentation, um, and that's really why I wanted to get this because I remember somebody somewhere saying, oh, it might be some kind of like fungus, whatever, and I'm like, oh, fungus, like, yuck. But when you think about it, especially as a girl that sweats a lot, not to mention also increased physical activity, y'all. So it's summer, you know, and have crevices, I have folds, I have body parts that lay on other body parts, you know? So just all around trying to maintain the health of my skin, I was like, let me go ahead and get this body wash. And it's especially recommended for like athletes and stuff, I wanna say. Y'all in my mind, I'm an athlete. <laughs> At least I sweat like one. Babe, just walk into my car. In this summer heat, oh my God. Um, so yeah, it says to lather and leave it on the skin for 30 seconds. I don't know, leave it on the skin. Like, I, I mean, not intentionally. I guess while I'm laughing, the other part is staying. I don't know. I just use this as my first wash, and then I'll go in with my more fun, um body nourishing skincare ingredient washes right and i was talking to nay about it and i was like oh shoot and i was trying to look for the spots and i was like wait a minute i don't even remember where they are and she was like oh they're probably gone and i was like yo and then i really sat there and was looking all over and i was like this ish really works and like no i'm like did I have fungus on my skin this whole time? Whatever it was, like, I mean, I just told y'all, like, I would never be perfect, of course, but like, this is truly the best my skin has ever looked. And I feel like I haven't even been 
this consistent, this long term for long. You know, with the products I'm using now, like, oh my God. I was like, imagine like if I keep doing this for months and months and months and really like, really establish a plan. Cause there's still things I need to work on. Like I always forget to use a little um, gel that I use on my elbows. Like I always forget to use that. Always, always, always. And I realized that some products will work great for one area, but not necessarily for another. Even with my skincare, like some products will work great for like dark marks on my face, but not for my beard. Which is kind of weird, cause you think skin is skin is skin. But one thing about it, one thing about me and the skin that I am in, she will do the absolute most for no reason, unprovoked, like just extra for no reason. So unfortunately, I gotta do what she says, you know? I gotta live by her rules. I tried doing it my way. I said my way or the highway. This one said the highway. <laughs> she said, bye. Hello from the other side. <laughs> she said, your way sucks and I'm gonna throw a fit until you do it in my way. So I surrender. I now do what my skin tells me to do. <laughs> but yeah, so just small moment of highlight. If you are a sweater like me, um, or if you just wanna clear up anything on your skin, I would consider trying this. And it says, formulated by, developed by athletes and skincare experts for clean, healthy skin. Like I said, you don't have to be going through anything dramatic, but I think it's just a really good cleansing body wash to really like reset, rebalance your skin. I kind of want to use this as a shampoo and see what it does for my scalp. Low key, low key. But anyways, yeah, just wanted to highlight that real quick, real quick, quick. Now let me finish showering. Y'all want to wash me all the time. Like, please, a shower the bed. Let me live. Let me have some privacy. Bye. Ugh. Oh, this is so no good morning gems oh shoot Ugh, i need gas so ghetto um i am going to run a quick quick errand before heading out for today's festivities um you guys know my super goop most of my super goop uh, sunscreens have expired <laughs> so i need to re-up so i placed a pickup order at sephora I also had a return to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, and then after that, we're heading over to SSS Red. <sighs> I'm mentally gathering myself. I'm actually like really not feeling it today, honestly, but I'm okay because I feel like once I get there and I hear the music and the vibes and all that, I'll get jiggy. Um, but one, I'm hungry. I had a bagel this morning and it's not cutting it. Did I do a proper grocery shop? No. <laughs> like every day is buy energy drink, buy a lot of new, buy Red Bull. When will you buy groceries? Hmm? So at some point in the week, I'm gonna have to do that. Cause like the struggle meals. Oh, no, I have leftovers. Why didn't I eat that? <sighs> Y'all saw my struggle meal from yesterday. Why didn't I just eat that? I completely forgot about it. It was good too. Wow, I played myself. Uh, anyways, let's head out. <laughs> okay, so just, there are a lot of more cars in and there's nowhere for the park. Like, Essentials, but make sure I brought back a towel. Um, 
because it seems like there might actually be like paint and powder and stuff at this event so um yeah and i didn't want to leave the lobby looking crazy because these shorts are barely that like literally barely that the girl is naked but naked so i switched my top because i don't really care about this top i'm gonna throw it away after um yeah putting my socks on but well, hopefully it's a good time because <sighs> i'm just not feeling the vibes I'm not feeling the vibes i'm feeling a little not moody i've just been feeling things the past couple of days Secret Soka Society, Child SSS Red. I'm gonna do it every time. They're gonna do it every time. That, the fact that I have no footage lets you know. The fact that I have no footage, and y'all know one thing about it, I'm gonna give you a little sum, okay? I'm gonna show you a little sum. The fact that I don't have anything to show you, when I tell you a time was had, like, it was at the same venue as the one, the location, the party we went to on Friday. But the one on Friday was outside, so I was expecting this one to be outside. It was very much inside. I was very confused because I even have juve, water, all that stuff inside. Oh my God, it's like paint stuff down. Like, oh my God, gross. Oh, the way I have to go home and like scrub down, like literally like paint pop. Oh, if my hair was not pink before this, it was going to be pink after. Like, uh, babes, they did not skip on the water. They did not skip on the powder. That Friday, Joe, what is like, oh, bring your own powder? Never again. This one? Top tier. When I tell you from the moment I went into the crowd to the moment I left just now, pelting waste. Like, I tell you, a time was bad, child, but. It's it's best that there's no footage. Y'all y'all don't need to see the debauchery. If you weren't there to witness to participate, then you don't need to see. Okay, just know that time was had. Child, I'm pretty sure I had powder in my mouth at one point. They said cut the waters off, cut everything off. They threw storm powder into the crowd, like packets. And then it was like on the count of three, start throwing powder. The entire room. I tell you, red fog powder, like blind, can't see nothing. All you can feel are bodies a time was had like no party will ever top effect like i <sighs> no regrets absolutely no regrets and if i don't do any other events for a carnival in atlanta i'm gonna do this one i'm gonna do this one okay i'm talking about went solo had a ball I left a little early though because I didn't want to deal with traffic. So there's still about 30 minutes left to the event. But I said, babes, I'm not trying to wait for everyone to leave at the same time. Like, I ain't got time for that. I'm going home to scrub a dub, dub, okay? Plus, I'm exhausted. I'm hungry. I'm so thirsty. Like, I'm just down bad, honestly. Like, I feel like I just ran a marathon. And I wasn't even there that long. I got there at what? Three or four it's 5 40 now so i'll probably i walked out around 5 30 ish and then got to the car the little mini changer room a little wipe down because babes i'm not dirty my car either so 
I would say a decent amount of time, but like not that long, you know? Yeah, I think I got there around like three. And the time, the time was ahead. Ooh, Chile, my abs, my core is on fire, bro. Ugh. Like, who, who needs to work out their core in the gym when you can work out your core and out of fit? Ooh, riddle me that. Hey guys, <laughs> y'all, I am pooped, okay? I just washed my hair like thoroughly showered, cleansed. Um, I'm currently doing this Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask, um, cause I had some pimples that were coming to head. So I figured that would help knock them out while also helping to get rid of that first layer of paint and powder soaked skin. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm about to rinse it off. It smells really good though. It screams fall. It smells like a pumpkin spice candle and I love that. I love that. You guys know I love pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice candles in the fall. In the fall. Oh my God, I have not had a candle burning in here for quite some time. Ooh, I need to do something about that. I need to do something about that. But yeah, I'm about to rinse my face and just sit down like just sit down when i tell y'all my entire core is on fire Ugh, the gym could never the gym could never i'm telling y'all mm. to head to the gym but first I need gas so ghetto like one day one day will I be able to live life without pumping gas
Also, quick question. But if you're not supposed to be on the phone when you're pumping gas, but also like they do Apple Pay, Am I risking my life for convenience? <laughs> because how you gonna have both? It's either don't be on your phone when you're near a gas station or a gas pump, or use your phone to get gas when you're at a gas station at a gas pump. Which one is it? Which one? <laughs> no say. Make sure it's not on slow-mo. I haven't been on slow-mo in a little minute. So I feel like it's about time for me to mess up. Ooh, you can see my pimples. It's all juicy. <laughs> I went down here too, but that one's real juicy. Real juicy. Okay, I'm just trying to tie my laces forever. Oh, brother. These shoes stink. I accidentally fell asleep last night at 7 p.m. <laughs> When I said I was gonna sit down and rest for a second, yeah, it became lay down and fall asleep. <laughs> so I woke up at 4 a.m. like, bruh, once again, all the lights on, hair not in a bonnet. Actually, I haven't put in leave-in yet. So my hair was crispy, dry this morning. Oh, this thing's moving so slow. The goal was to leave for the gym early this morning so I could do a little walking. And I don't know why, but I always got a boo-boo before the gym. It's like, it don't matter how early, if I have my little pre-workout meal early, it don't matter what time, it's always right when I'm getting ready to head to the gym. Right in that five, 10 minute mark before I head out, I gotta use the bathroom. Oh, send me back, bro. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully today's a good workout. This is my last week with in-person training. I'm gonna miss seeing my boo every week. Mm. So I don't know how much this workout content y'all finna get um i have one more after this one that'll be in the next vlog and y'all may never see me in the gym working out again <laughs> no jamima you're a big girl you can pull out your camera by yourself you can do it jamima your fear of looking stupid is holding you back <laughs> But it's just not gonna be as fun. Like, I'm not gonna be kicking and chopping up with nobody. I'm gonna be by myself. Solo. Serious mode. Who wants to see me serious in the gym? Ugh. Who wants to see that? Boring boom. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to see you work out for real, girl. We trying to see you kiki. We trying to see you have a time. I could just cut through here, but actually, no. I don't feel like stopping for pedestrians. Um but yeah. Anyways, child. Uh, I'm hoping I have a good day today. It's gonna be a heavy work day. And heavy work days and training days do not do well together. But fingers crossed, because we have to get some things done today. We have to get work done today. But I'm actually really looking forward to today. Um, but y'all will see in the future hauls, hopefully. Cause for, for, if, the, if the clothes don't hit, all right. If the clothes don't hit, it's not gonna be a good haul, and it's not gonna be a good day, and I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> um, anyways, um, yabbering, yappa yappa like a rot. So I will see y'all inside a gym. Oh, I'm about to eat curd. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute.
real cute. That's real cute. Most like the fact that I couldn't even lift it up. <laughs> and you want 20. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that for you. Listen, listen, I don't want to hear it. Um, I don't want to hear it because I paid my money. Oh my God, my lens is dirty. That's ghetto. <gasps> How long has it been like that? Oh my God. How long has my lens been looking like this? Oh my gosh. <gasps> that is so ghetto. Like, girl. Ew, brother, ooh. Brother, ooh. Babes, are you okay? Can y'all see me? <laughs> uh, um, I'm easily influenced. I know I am. I am. I've been bamboozled by the girls with their lighter shaded uh, glasses with the pattern and the print. And it's so cute on them. Like, Face of a Matter, love her glasses collection. So cute. Atia so cute jamima <laughs> but i paid my money i had my money and i just feel like i have to get my money's worth so like i feel like i could rock these if i'm wearing a full face cute outfit like i can make it work but like just throwing it on it's not necessarily giving the vibes but the coin has already been spent the prescription has already been integrated. They're here to stay. And so y'all gonna get what y'all get. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, that's just that on that. Do I have an obsession with Zilla? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do I have another order on the way? Yes, I do. Are you in my business? Yes, you are. Oh my God. Why did I have this Reese's plant-based chocolate situation and you're thinking plant-based like what could go wrong what could go wrong in this vegan chocolate and peanut butter treat that could possibly mess up your stomach i don't know but unfortunately i found out like i i just knew i was safe it said vegan so i said oh vegan it's healthy 
<laughs> if it's vegan, it's healthy. I don't make the rules. If it's vegan, the sugars don't count. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't understand why this made my stomach hurt. Like, what did you do? Mind you, I only had one thing. It comes with two bar situations. I only had one. Oh, it smells good. Put it back, Jamima. <laughs> We don't want no problems. We don't want no problems. Yeah, so it's giving either y'all a lion and it's not plant-based or y'all got something else in here that shouldn't be in here. Either way, I'm livid. I'm upset. Because why would y'all do me like that? Anyways. I had plans to record tonight and things did not go as planned um but that's okay because i was making adjustments to my setup and yeah i'm going to film my beauty content on a different camera a different camera so i had to like ooh, yeah see yeah and this is why you need to prep and get your things together before you try to sit down and record. Unless you have all day to record one video. Because like... This lens isn't even like... Working. Ugh! See? Like... And you just want to record. Sit down and record, huh? This lens is just... Not making my life... <gasps> not making my life easy. Alright. Um, yeah. So, clearly... That video was not recorded. I'm gonna have to reschedule that for later on this week. Luckily, it's not going up for maybe another five days, four? Yikes. Okay, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna go sit down and figure that out. But in the meantime, cause that pissing me off, literally just pissing me off. I need to find a better lens cause this is not working for me. Content creator struggles. We love that. When you're not really a tech baddie, but you're forced to be a tech baddie, but then the tech isn't giving you tech baddie energy. <laughs> Just struggle energy, please. Um, I really wanted to film this chit chat, get ready, chit chat to get ready with me today. First of all, from just the new products alone that I have been loving, enjoying. I'm just like, I feel like I need one video where I'm sitting down and sharing my love. But also the topic that I wanna talk about is real cute too. So hopefully that'll be up by the time y'all see this. Who actually knows? Not I. Um, but babes, I've been using a new concealer and it's a love-hate relationship. This is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smoother Concealer. She's been so good to me and I have it in the shades MC45 and NW45. When I tell you she's been so good to me, first of all, can we look at how drastic? I mean, it's not that drastic. I feel like it's drastic though. Like for the undertones to just be different, it looks like two different shades, but they're both 45. Yeah. Like, how are these both 45? They are different shades as well as undertones. But anyways, I love this concealer and I feel like, damn, while I love that I love it, I feel like this is about to be my new favorite and I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss using that big AF uh, Too Faced concealer. Where is it at? Because babes, when I tell you Too Faced is the only company where I feel like their concealer makes sense because if I'm wearing concealer on half my face, why does the concealer not match the size of my foundation model? Like, can you imagine how many times I have, I'm going to have to replace this compared to how many times I have to replace this? Oh, man, but it's so good. It's been working beautifully on me. And I've just really been on a concealer kick now. So I feel like I'm about to do a whole like TikTok series because I've really been on the hunt for great, amazing concealers. Because I do enjoy the Too Faced, but I've been using it for so long. Like y'all know I love variety. I get tired of using the same thing over and over and over. So that and um, 
what else have I been really loving? This is why I need that video. I need that video. I've been really on the hunt for a hot pink liquid blush. Ever since I saw this one person using it on TikTok, it was the brightest of hot pink on her cheek. And it looks so good. Beautiful brown skin woman. It looks so good. And ever since then, I have been on the hunt for the perfect bright pink cheek and i've come up with two two palette situations so one is the patrick star once please patrick star one size mainly for this shade right here but of course when you layer it blah blah boom um so i'm hoping that this one i use it once i literally just got it um i used it once and it was cute. I still have to play around with it some more to really fill it out. Um, I also picked up, is she here? Is she here? Is she in the room with us? I picked up the Patrick Ta Blush Duo. What did I do with it? Child, I can't even, if y'all can see my makeup station right now. If y'all can see my desk, if y'all can see my life. <laughs> if you can see my apartment. And you always know how heavy my workload is based on the state of my apartment. When my apartment is neat, tidy, clean, nothing around, just know I, it's not any hauls going on. It's, it's basically probably just vlogging. Like maybe what I eat in a day. But when my apartment is a warehouse, just know the fashion content is going down and right now my apartment is a warehouse oh and i love the content but it's so frustrating i mean you guys have heard me complain about this multiple times but like babes i just want to walk straight i want to be able to walk straight to my couch walk straight to my room walk straight to wherever i want to go and i can't i gotta go over under side under because the boxes and stuff but it's just like yo i gotta do what i gotta do i gotta do what i gotta do the content got a content it is what it is it is what it is but yeah um that being said i do have some content that's coming out i'm so excited about work even more so lately like i could you guys know i've been revamping my summer wardrobe because i essentially got rid of my summer wardrobe so um i've been trying to find like cheaper alternatives to add filler to my closet because i don't really want to invest in anything crazy right now because i don't know how long it's gonna be here for um and i've just been finding really cute things and just like my walmart haul went live today and the love is astounding on that video like ugh, with like the pieces like i just love walmart and i appreciate walmart for supporting black content creators there's a lot of discourse going on tiktok right now between a certain creator and like it, it's just a whole lot of a whole lot of whole lot of you know and race was a factor which of course it always is when you're black or just non-white i guess um and i just want to say like shout out to the brands who appreciate the black dollar and the black content creators and a black demographic because some companies would rather not make money just to have a specific aesthetic and that aesthetic is we don't we don't want y'all sit with us like you can't sit with us and um, I watched a video today where this lady was basically saying, I work in brand branding. Um, and yes, it's good to have black people in a room, but when it's only one or two, like they just look over us. Um, and she was like breaking down like how some companies, like it, it, it even, doesn't even matter. They said black women are one of the biggest consumers. They don't, they don't care. Cause as long as they affiliate black with less than, with inferiority, with ghetto trash, we don't want it welfare. It doesn't matter if it would bring them the the revenue they're just like we don't want that affiliation because it goes against our market for white women you know or white people or whatever the case may be um and while i can't really do anything about that today what i can do is shout out the brands that do support 
and make clothing for the underserved. So shout out to Walmart for working with and supporting black creators. Shout out to Walmart for creating plus size options, affordable plus size options for plus sizes, for the big bodies, okay? Like, I'm just so grateful that we have options in a reasonable price bracket that allow for us to clothe ourselves. And shout out to Target for going up to a size mother freaking 30. Cause actually that video did better than I thought. I almost didn't post it cause I was like, oh my God, I feel like if I didn't drop it like the first day or first two days, no one's gonna care about the Janae Naylor collection. Like it'll already be old news. But I was like, I, I bought the pieces, like even though I wasn't able to do it right then and there because I, don't, I was out of town, let me go ahead and post it. Cause I know there's gonna be a restock and stuff. So people might want to get this information later. The love on that video is beautiful as well. And I was just like, I'm really glad I posted it, da da da. But also I'm really glad that Target even creates these collections working with black creators. And then all of their collections go to size 30, like up to a size 30. Now, can you find all of those sizing in store? Not always the case, but I am grateful that they do have those options online. Even though it is annoying to always have to shop online um so i think somebody said have i seen the size the 4x in store child by the time i got there there was nothing left on the racks anyways i couldn't even tell you it was the zeros and the double zeros for me that were left <laughs> um but i just really want to try out like the stores that support not just one particular look or demographic you know like we all matter we here um, and shout out to the gems, number one. Like y'all show me so much love on a regular basis. Like I'm truly blessed, like truly blessed, truly blessed by this community that I have here. And um, ew, am I crying? Am I crying? Oh. I'm so sorry. Wow. Wow. What's happening here? Ooh. Y'all, when I tell you that my skin is flourishing, like ever since I really started going in with the skincare, and by going in, I mean I added one or two extra steps on a more regular basis, not every day not morning and night like one thing i love to say is self-care for me is balance so one shower that might be doing the work scrub shave this lather da -da -da. another shower might be just bar soap straight to bed no moisture okay i don't recommend a no moisture but Balance is very important to me. That being said, I have been leaning more towards doing a little extra, okay? And I just wanna say that my skin is the best it's ever been. Like, my body is at its peak right now. I'm just like, yo, yo. It's really time for an updated shower routine. Um, so I need to hit on that, for real. Cause like, I'm really, I'm really loving where my skin is. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the changes. And I love that for me. These glasses, I just cannot take myself serious with them on. I just can't. Anyways, I'm about to shower and um, wash my ass. I recommend that y'all do the same at some point today. If you have not yet, I implore you please wash your hind parts these glasses are so serious a, a, a beat face like a cute little outfit like i can do it i can do it i can i can i can do it with this uh, i need to do another old navy haul because the loungewear first of all it's lasting 
It's expensive. Like I feel like Old Navy is not cheap, but quality. I much prefer to like loungewear and like chill stuff over their workout clothes. I don't really love the workout clothes, honestly. The material is a little iffy on me, on my, my skin. Um, but like, other than that, yeah. It might be time to do with an, an updated haul. I need to catch a sale or something because those regular prices, like it's just not doing it for me. It's just not doing it for me. He has some drinking water in my bathroom. And what about it? What are you gonna do about it? Um Listen, y'all hear that rain? Once y'all hear that rain video, what time is it? Sleep time, slumber time, snore time, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and close out the vlog right here. No idea what I did. No idea what I did this vlog, but I hope y'all had a time because I'm about to have a time in this bed, okay? Sleep, drooling, snoring, train in my throat, okay? Uh, all right, I feel the sleepiness coming. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next vlog. Good night. Toodles. <laughs>